Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how does capillary motion works and in what way it is useful in chemical engineering. Capillary motion is the attraction of surface of liquid to surface of solid due to cohesive and adhesive force which results in either elevating or depressing the level of liquid. There are three main contributors to capillary motion. First of all, surface tension which is the opposing force acting parallel to the surface of liquid. Next is cohesive force which is the forces of attraction between the same liquid molecules. And lastly, adhesive force which is the forces of attraction between liquid molecules and a surface of an object. Now we're going to demonstrate you a simple experiment which the concept of capillary motion is used. You will need a piece of white bread, a bowl of coffee or milo on your prefer. What you need to do is just dip the bread in the coffee. The experiment shows that when adhesion is greater than cohesion, water or any other liquid will be brought up to the surface of a solid. After 30 minutes, you can see that almost 90% of the bread is soaking in the coffee. The next experiment also shows the phenomenon when adhesion is greater than cohesion, which will draw the liquid outwards against the gravitational force. For this experiment, you will need three different colored water, three empty containers and paper towels. Put the colored water and empty containers side by side. Fold the paper towels in half and dip one of the end to the colored water and the other end to the empty containers. Leave it this way for 3 hours. At the end of the experiment, you can see that the colored water has been transferred to the empty containers through the paper towels which add as a medium. The capillary motion stops when all of the containers reach the same amount of water. We have water on the left and mercury on the right. Notice that the water will form concave manicus, while mercury will form convex manicus. When adhesion is greater than cohesion, capillary rays occur and the concave manicus form with a contact angle less than 90 degree. On the other hand, when cohesion greater than adhesion, capillary depression occur and the convex manicus form with a contact angle more than 90 degree. When contact angle is known, we can now calculate the height of the liquid in a tube due to capillary action using the Laplace equation. There are several applications of capillary motion in chemical engineering such as thin layer chromatography which used to separate substance in a mixture using a thin layer of liquid. Next is the fountain pen. When you hold a pen straight, gravitational force is not enough for the ink to flow up. However, when the tip of the pen touches and drags along the paper, the ink will flow up due to adhesive and cohesive force. Here comes to the end of our video. Thanks for watching.